This is my $25 Dell computer with no hard drive that I bought. And then I picked up a $3 USB stick and I put the Linux program on it in the browser and I plug it in the back. Now I want to show you how long it takes this thing to actually boot up and go to work. So it's starting the process now. And you'll find it goes pretty darn quick. Uh, I set it down and go do something else. But in the meantime, I'm trying to show you this. I'm trying to run the computer with one hand and use, hold my cell phone with the other hand. And that's why this is so herky-jerky. And, and, uh, but it gives you a general idea how long all this stuff takes. So you know how much time you're going to be invested in order to set this up. And all that's for the benefit of not having to worry about getting spyware or viruses on your computer. Because it can't get in. This totally separates itself from your hard drive and runs just on the flash drive. And in my case, there is no hard drive, so there's no way it can get on anything else. But it's going to keep on working here and, and uh, bring us up directly there. It's booted up now. So it, it brings us directly into Firefox, but I have to tell it to get online. So I click a little icon down on the bottom here in order to pick which router I want it to go through of, of the home network routers that I have set up. It'll bring up a little screen, just like most networking programs. There, I just I'm going to click on that one at the top. Now I want you to see how long it takes to hook up to the to the network. Actually, this is all in real time. There, it's hooked up. Those little bars that that show how much strength I have. That means it's actually hooked up to the network. And then there's one other thing I like to do before I get started here. There's the bars right there, hooked up to Wi-Fi. I go down here and click on this little button that says Reset Firefox. That way, whoever built the program originally, if they had anything in there, it's going to clean all that stuff out and bring it back so Firefox is pristine and I don't have to worry about uh, having it interfere with what I'm doing. I just click the button there that says to reset it. It shows me that it's doing it and it'll come back up in, in just a few seconds. There we go. We're in Firefox now. So I go up to the browser bar, the address bar at the top, and I'm going to type in ClickSense, and uh, it'll bring up the ClickSense website. That's where I go to make my money in the evening when I'm watching TV. And then I'm going to click on Sign In, and a little uh, panel will come up, and I put in my username and my password. Like I say, this doesn't jerk around when you're doing it. It's just very, very quick and, and easy to use. And it asks me if I want to save the password, and I just close those because it doesn't do any good to save them. It's all going to go away when I turn it off anyway. It just runs the ads. That's all I want it to do. I don't want any interference from anything else. So I click on View Ads. And it brings up a panel with ads that I can watch. And uh, I just click on one of them. Now this is a tenth of a cent ad, but you, you get half cent ads and one cent ads and two cent ads, but they take longer to run. This one runs real quick. You'll see the, the, ad, the timer bar go down there. Once it reaches zero, I just go up and close this tab. And it brings me right back to pick up the next ad. But one thing I want to show you that I really like about this version of Linux and the browser that it's running is if you look down on the bottom right that's the bottom bottom that red button when I click that watch how long it takes to close boom it's done let's go to bed